Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. What size copper supply side bonding jumper would you select for a 200 amp service with two aught ungrounded copper service conductors? So we just have to read the play on this question and figure out what table we're going to be using. Are we going to be using table 250.66? Are we going to be using table 250.102C1? Or are we going to be using table 250.122? Well, it's all based off of what type of conductor it is. In this case, is it a grounding electrode conductor? No. Is it an equipment grounding conductor? No. So we're going to be using table 250.102C1. And this table was a new addition to the 2014 code cycle, if I'm not mistaken. And it was a split off of table 250.66. And now we have our own table to size grounded conductors and bonding jumpers like main bonding jumpers, supply side and system bonding jumpers. So the first thing that we're going to do is establish what is the makeup of our copper of our service conductors. And in this case, they're copper. So we're going to start on the left hand side of this table and we're going to find the proper size conductor. Then we're going to come over to the makeup of the bonding jumper itself. And in this case, it is also copper. So we start on the left hand side, come back over to the copper side, and we're going to find that it's not required to be larger than a number four. I am the electrical code coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. If I'm praying for you today, I want you to know if there's anything that I can do for you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.